a month after the accident, a friend of mine said, you should go see this woman. She's a psychic. She can help you. Cause I was out of my mind. I was scared. And, um, the situations were growing because I didn't know anybody who was a psychic really. So I went into this woman's apartment in the Valley here in Los Angeles and with her back to me, she said, Oh, you're a walk-in. And I said, what's a walk-in? She goes, what's well, when you're close to death and another soul takes over your body. And she said, whatever walked in is a psychic. I said, I'm not a psychic. Well, here I am 40 years later and I'm known around the world as a psychic, a healer, a medium. How did all that happen? It just hit evolved. After I left her, it took about 12 years for me to accept the fact that I could no longer run from the psychic energy and the messages that I was receiving spiritually. I didn't like it. I didn't want it. I was embarrassed by it, but everything else I tried to do was blocked by the uh, divine intervention 